Hi, John from Singer Electronics. Today I'm going to be showing you our SPS40 power supply. And with the addition of our SCM module, you can turn it into a full-fledged charging solution. Alright, we have our SPS40 here. We have our SCM module here. Our SVMB digital display here. We have three SQD4s. I have a set of jumper cable that I've cut off and I've added the connectors for the SQD4s. And then finally, we have some four gauge cable here that we're gonna connect between the jumper cables and one of these SQ4Ds so we can interchange the jumper cables to the power supply and the power supply to other items we might have in our bay like our show car or our display our test bench, things of that nature. All right, now that we've covered all that, let's get to assembly. Now that that's done, we can mount our digital display to the top of our power supply which already has double stick tape attached. Next step is connecting our SCM module to the power supply so we can control it and it will turn it into a full-fledged battery charger and tender. You know, you can use boost modes great, like if you need to jump start a car or the battery's really low and you just wanna dump some current, you can use it in that mode as well. Or like if you have it on a power supply and you're getting ready to put some amps on it, you can just go ahead and put it in boost mode. Otherwise, it's gonna look at what's going on with the charge current and uh, change its settings accordingly. Let's go ahead and install this to the power supply. First thing we have to do is remove this set screw. Then we're going to plug in the module right to the port that's located here. Then we're going to put that set screw back in. All right, now that is mounted, we can go ahead and mount this also to the top of the power supply. Now, if you're doing this in a permanent installation, you could forego putting the digital display on there. And you can mount this like in the vehicle, like if it's on an RV or even a show car, if there was room and you can hide this module somewhere, you can mount this so you can monitor what's going on with the charge current at any time. Okay, now that we've got this installed, we're gonna go ahead and connect our high current connections here to our SQ4D high current quick connect. Now, these terminals are very heavy duty. They need to be crimped on with either a crimp station or a uh, vice crimper or vice itself, whatever you need to do to get make sure this is really nice and tight. You can also solder them if you have a torch, but I recommend just crimping because if you get it hot enough, you're gonna, the jacket's gonna retreat on you. So once you get these connected to your power cable, it's very simple to install them into the connector itself. You have a positive and negative marking on there. Don't worry if you put it in wrong because you can pull them back out very easily but the easiest way to reference it is if you see the little metal tab on the inside, that's gonna need to hook on this little tab right here. So you're gonna put them in with this side up, lined up with the connector. And you'll hear it click, and then you know you're connected. Same with this one, we're gonna turn that over. Here's the top. Go ahead and insert that. And now we're connected. Now we have a fast way to connect and disconnect different pieces of equipment to this power supply. All right, now we're gonna move on to the jumper cable connectors. Same procedure, we're gonna put the little number up. We've got that one locked in, go to the negative. That's locked. So now all we have to do is 
connect that together and now we have jumper cables or we can hook this up to the battery for charging or we can disconnect this and let's say we have one of these mounted in the vehicle next to the battery now that we have everything connected to our power supply which is now an intelligent battery charger we're going to go ahead and hook it up to power so you can see how it functions It's going to initialize, it's going to boot up, it's going to look at all the different things that could be going on. It doesn't really see a load, so it backs off its charge current to 13.5, which is basically just enough power to power up this digital display. There's really no amperage coming out. So now we're going to hook it up to the battery. So we can let it sit like this it'll stay at 13.5 it's going to basically maintain that battery but since we want to show you how it works i'm going to go ahead and hit the boost button so now you're going to see that the charge current ramps up to 14.3 and it'll stay there until it feels that the battery is completely charged and then it's going to back its charge current back off to the 13.3 which is a float charge current and then it'll stay there indefinitely until you take it off Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video and you can see how versatile using an SPS 40 power supply can be when you combine it with an SEM module and some SQD4 quick connects. So you can utilize this at home, the shop, wherever you might need some charge current. And as a point of note, the size of this power supply at 40 amps is much smaller than your normal battery charger. So it's nice and compact you can install it in some situations like a van or a show car or something if you have some room you can just go ahead and install it there otherwise you can leave it outboard and use the quick connect so you can interchange it for the purpose that you need at the time thanks again and have a great day